Montana. It's your girl Montana. Make sure you check out our website at hbculivetv.com where you can search your school, watch exclusive content, and shop your HBCU merch. I'm Jasmine Jones, Spelman Class of 2022, also the founder of Amina Suticles. Knowing my business plan and validating my customer discovery was a key part of me developing my business as it assured that my brand will be solving a real life problem. If you want to know more, come to the Spellpreneur session this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. called Validating Your Business Idea. See you there. My name is Kenya Hanfield. I'm a psychology major on the pre-law track, double minoring in French and English, and I'm from Miami, Florida. 2015 was the year that I decided like I was going to be at Spelman no matter what, at what cost. I had also heard about the ADW programs, which is African Diaspora in the World here, and their English classes, and Spelman is a liberal arts school. I'm a liberal arts kid. I love everything to do with the arts. I remember like, I'm gonna do what I have to do to get here. And I remember one of the ambassadors coming out and giving us a tour. And despite being 12, I felt like I was one of their sisters. I could visibly see the sisterhood that was discussed about Spelman. The idea of choosing friends and adopting them to become family, like meeting your future bridesmaids, meeting people who are going to be the next lawyers, doctors, astronauts, scientists. And every time I went on a different college tour, I just compared it to Spelman. This year, I was selected as a Morgan Stanley HBCU scholar, and because of that initiative, I was granted a full ride to attend Spelman College. Project FRESH is an acronym. It stands for Fundamentals of Reading, Education, Success, and Health. I started Project FRESH in 2015. Originally, it was entitled Kenya's Book Drive. My goal initially was to connect students and collect over 500 books. Within the first two weeks, I had collected over 13,000 books already. At Spelman, I look forward to accomplishing just becoming who I am. I also just want to give back to the community. Like, I feel like I'm already part of the Atlanta community, and this is my home now. If I had one piece of advice for any young lady or anyone who wanted to apply to Spelman, it would just be apply the pressure. I didn't even know who I was when I came to Spelman. I was very quiet and shy and like afraid of talking and interacting with people. I started dancing when I was like three and seriously when I was around 12. Um, I didn't talk when I was little. Dance was a way for me to communicate with my mom and also just like communicate to the world and express myself. Art is just my way of, you know, getting down the words that I can't figure out how to say. In addition to dance, I have a love and a passion for technology. The passion comes from the same place. It's really a passion for creating. Uh, by learning a language, by implementing code, you can create something from nothing. I think what really inspired me was that Spellman didn't say there's a mold that you have to be and that's like how you're defined. I was encouraged by mentors and professors um, that I can make something happen with dance and computer science, define myself with it and define my career with it. Um, and that's how I found my voice. I had an amazing opportunity to um, intern with Twitter in San Francisco. Unfortunately, I was the only HBCU intern in the intern class, but that really motivated me to figure out ways to create a pipeline for HBCU students to get into bigger tech companies. A mantra that really sticks with me is like, lift as you climb. Some friends and I co-founded a nonprofit called We Are HBCUs, and it aims to amplify and uplift the HBCU community by providing um, interactive ways for the wider HBC community to connect, um, to network. At the end of senior year, we got a call from Spellman um, saying that there is a very um, generous person uh, willing to pay off uh, the debt that I owed to the school. Um, that's Frank Baker, and I'm so grateful for what he did. It allowed me to go into my first job without any stress, like knowing that I'm going to get my degree and I don't owe anything else. If I could create a dance to reflect my departure from Spellman, it would probably be a dance that embodies and fully encapsulates joy and finding my voice.
Consider it your joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. testing of your faith produces perseverance. Class of 2021, you were sorely tested this year. Congratulations, Stelman College class. Spelman College to me means acknowledging and honoring all of the history that comes with being a member of this community. That's very significant for me because I came from a PWI and transferred to Spelman. Coming to a space like this was night and day. It's a celebration um, of black spaces and of honoring our continuous resilience. Our name being known by other black girls all over the world is just a testament to the kind of students that we grow here, the kind of humans, the kind of citizens that we grow here at Spelman. When I was at Spelman in the early 90s, it was all about school days and a different world. Uh, that was something we, we look forward to every week. Everyone in the dorm will be watching the episode of A Different World and we get so excited when we see the picture of Giles Hall and you would hear everyone all over the dorm screaming, there's Giles. I also had the opportunity my freshman year, the producers from a different world came to campus and they were trying to get story ideas. And my dorm director, Ms. Brooks, uh, pulled a group of students together to talk to the producers, to give them some of our experiences. And I remember fondly talking about uh, the upcoming uh, freshman step show. And that was one of the ideas that we gave them during that discussion. And that was used in an episode of Different World. So that was exciting. 